Welcome back, travelers! We are back on some Infinity Evolved! Yay! Brrr. Okay, so here's the deal. We got some stuff we want to get done, and I want to do it in a pretty short amount of time. I don't want to have like a long, crazy episode. I want to try to keep it condensed. I'm trying to keep them down in size a little bit because the last one got way too long, and you know, whatever. It happens. It was the first episode, and there was a lot of stuff I wanted to check out. But here's the deal. I've already designated things that we're going to do for today, and it's going to be kind of a lot in just a little bit amount of time. First thing I want to do is I want it to get into... That's not what I want to do. I want you to do this. So I found out um, that I could actually start Thomcraft without finding the stuff in a uh, dungeon chest, like I had said in the last episode as I was looking for stuff. So that's a good, good thing. Good thing. Good, good, good thing. Uh, I need some wood. And uh, not you. You're too small. Uh, no, I, I had some wood. I just chopped a whole bunch down. Oh, didn't even notice you right there. Okay, cool. So we are going to go ahead and... Ooh, I, I need... I'm going to need... Oh, I got one book. I have one leather. I'm going to need more leather. I'm going to go cow hunting. Ooh, horses, you'll give me leather, won't you? Yes, you will. You'll give me leather. You're going to be upset with me, but... Hey, hey, come here, come here, come here. You guys got a lot more health than cows. But at least I know I'm getting leather out of it, so... I kind of don't want to kill all of you guys. If, as long as I get a decent amount... I did not get in a decent amount of leather. Alright, that's five. I kind of feel bad. Um, because... Well, if I had a saddle right now, but I don't have saddle, so... Screw it. Skirt, skirt, skirt. I need the leather. Okay, cool. So we got seven. Seven should be good. Those little obelisk things right there. I really want to find out about them. But anyways, so yeah, so Thumbcraft, we're going to be doing that. And then uh, this Twilight, it looked really, really simple. And so as I'm running back, I'm going to be looking for stuff to uh, put down to make the portal. I've been I, I've been planning for this episode. Um, yeah, I need shears for that. Do I have... I don't have any iron on me. Okay. Fortunately, the desert's right by my house, so that's not an issue. So I'm going to head back, and then once I get there, we will get rocking on the rest of the stuff. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we made it back, and it's, whew, that's just about time. Look at sun going down right now. That was, that was, we were cutting it close there. Anyways, uh, where's that wood? I got that wood right here, because the first thing I want to make is the wand for Thumbcraft. Yay, we got the wand for Thumbcraft. And the reason for that is because that's why I needed the books and stuff. Um, let me just grab all of this and the paper there. I had a book. Where did I put the book? Did I put it back? Where did I put that book? Oh, it's on me. Goodness gracious. Okay, so uh, I'm going to need two more books. Of course, I didn't have enough paper to do that but I've got enough there there we go there we go one two three pink all right cool and now we got that and now I haven't made a bookshelf in a while okay there you go there you go and then books all right cool so this is the first thing we're gonna do I thought based upon what I was reading or whatever that to get the thumbnomonomicon I had to um, find it in the thing. But boom! You make a bookshelf, you right click it with your cool little wandy wand, and you get the Thaumonomicon, right? So this is where we're going to start off here. And Thaumonomicon looks like it's. Okay, so we got that. It's kind of funny that they're in the book, it tells you how to get the book. Seems a little backwards to me. Uh, knowledge fragments. I remember these, but you find those things. The research stuff. This is what I want to get into. Right, so we're gonna want to create the um, the meter thing. What's it called? Thaumometer, and then we need to make some scribing tools so we can make our research table, and then also the crafting table thing. Right, so we need to make a couple of the thaumian tables, and if I remember correctly, we're gonna need three thaumian tables. Right, so I'm gonna need yeah nine of these. Okay, cool, and then we'll just turn all this into planks. All right, so it's like that, right? Yeah. So three tables, like a soul, 
right? And then we need to make scribing tools. And the scribing tools, I already started this, and then I made a mistake and lost my stuff. Um, and that'll go back to when we get to Miscraft and what I was explaining there. Um, there we go. Uh, ink, 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 ink. There we go. Ink, that, and a feather. We got it. So it's you, you, and you. There we go. We got our scribing tools. Okay. Now this, I, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to set some of the stuff out, right? But for the time being, I'm just going to kind of set them up you know, and just make stuff happen. So we put the scribing tools on there like that. And as you can see, I've already got some, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, <sighs> knowledge fragments, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. I got some of that stuff. And uh, the reason I'm actually so proficient on making all these things right now, because I already made all this stuff and then lost it all. And that'll get back into the myth thing. Yes, miscraft. It got me. So anyway, so um, that's going to be the next thing that we actually have to ha create is the thermometer, which I believe I have some gold right here. There we go. So it's two gold. It's going to be two of these fragments. Do I not have any more of these thomium fragments? I kind of avoid them when I'm mining because I don't. I'm not into Thomcraft yet, so I didn't see a need for them, but I know that there's a ton in my mind. So I'm just going to go down here and grab some of this Thomium stuff and we're gonna make the thermometer. And I think I'm just kind of, kind of leave it at that for right now, because like I said, there's a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, we want to do. And I don't know how, exactly how long the other stuff is going to take. And if I'm going to get it right on the first shot. So, with that being said, I just want to kind of get it set up, get the thermometer, and possibly make some goggles of revealing. And I think they're just done with leather and the thermometer. So we'll see. And I need a piece of glass. Do I have any glass? Yes, I do. See, it's kind of cool being able to do this without any eye because, well, I literally just did it last night and then died. Oh, yeah, and I never actually said I died. It was a sad, sad day. I died. Am I going to see, I still don't get a lot of these. Oh, there we go. That's for the dirt. Lux. Okay, cool. And maybe one more water. Hey, there we go. Cool. All right, so we got a couple of those, and we're just going to kind of leave it at that for right now because basically I got to get a whole bunch of research up, and then we got to get some of the parchment and stuff like that and make some cool stuff happen and, you know, all that fun stuff. But what I want to do now is I want to uh, – well, I kind of want to show you Mythcraft here. Do I've got paper on me. I just need to grab the ink. Yes, I need to grab the ink, which I just had. There it is. And we can craft some of these up real quick. So basically it's like this. And then one water bottle will give you one ink vial. And so we're going to make up some of this right here. So we got some ink here. And I'll kind of give you the rundown. These are all really, really simple to uh, make. The ink mixer, the book binder, and the writing desk. You can look them up in any eye. They're really, really simple. But I'm going to throw some ink in here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put a page in here. And then this is going to give us a link panel page, right? Now there's some modifier cool stuff that you can do to that, but I don't really know them all that well. So I'm not going to bother with them at the moment, but I'm going to make two of these link panel pages because what we're going to actually end up making, oh, you know, let me grab those bottles back. We're going to make a book real quick, like a so with some leather and a link panel. And that's going to give me an unlinked book here. And this will all make sense once I get it done. I know I'm just kind of flying through it because I'm excited to go check it out. If you've ever watched me play before, you know I love me some dimensions. I love just new dimensions. New dimension. Is that right? Dimension. That's right, right? Yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to say it's right. And anyways, so basically we've got a name for it and we've got this... Um, index panel and so we've got a descriptive book that we just made okay so this is absolutely basic it's totally random and this could be the most dangerous thing ever or it could be the safest thing ever so i right click with my unlinked book and now i have a linked book and this is linked right to the place i'm standing in right now 
Okay. Now this book right here goes to some random dimension that we have called new dimension. We don't know what we're going to get. And with that being said, I kind of want to drop off my gear in a chest. <laughs> I'm telling you, I died pretty darn quickly um, in this weird dimension and it made me very sad. And when I get sad, I, you know, then try to protect myself. So all we're going to do is take the basics with us. The very basics. Uh, Axe I might take. Um, I don't need my Thaumonomicon. I don't need that. But I do need my linking book. And then actually, I'm going to make a bookshelf real quick. Um, actually, it's like this. Because I want to be able to put the linking shelf there when I get there. So we've got the book stand. All right, cool. And we're just going to rock and roll with this and see what we end up with. And I do believe I saved the book for this crazy dimension. And I might... Okay, so it's a, it's a weird loading phase right here. Whew. I'm here. I'm falling. Oh! Oh, okay. So it's very snowy. <laughs> On Netherrack. And this looks like some obsidian ablesque looking thing. What is this? This is obsidian. I don't know... It, what this is okay but there's like another one over here hold on let me let me go back here real quick and um put the book down and kind of mark this so i don't get lost because as you can see it looks like it's like going to be eternal snow right all right so we're going to place that book there and then we're going to go ahead and save a home here uh so new it's going to be home i mean it's zero zero pretty much so it's not like it's going to be really hard to find, but kind of want to venture out. There's obviously some mobbies around here. I see some Endermen, some Zomberts. So this might be like a bright nighttime. I don't know. Um, I It's it's hard to tell because the sky is kind of dark over there, uh, but there is red on the horizon. See, there's another one of these little Oblesque thingies. And I wonder if it's just just one god there are mobs ever oh oh there's a village there's a village that's freaking pretty cool i was not expecting that's a pretty big village actually i wasn't expecting a village i definitely wasn't expecting that i'm wondering if they have any of the villagers here that we can use to get um more of the materials and stuff like that that we need that's like a backwards Oh, some tin, a bronze helmet, some leggings, some dimlets. I'll just take it all. A bronze sword and a steel axe. I'm not feeling it. Oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. This is the one I've been looking for. This is the one. Okay. So there, ha ha, we've got a pattern, a single biome. This is exactly what I was looking for. Ah, ha ha. Okay, now I'm happy. Now I'm a happy, happy person. Uh, this is the writing table, which I'm going to go ahead and steal your writing table. Thank you. And you're the dude. Okay, cool. Check this out. Um, wow. Those are expensive. A thicket by... Look how expensive these are. 16 emeralds, 20 emeralds. Wow. 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 Okay. But we've got you. I uh, wish I had a safari net right now. I would just take you home with me. I would take you home right now. Um, but let me go ahead and, I mean, these books will just be helpful in the long run. And you don't need them. I could have gone and taken them from the freaking, the library too, but whatever. I don't see anywhere around here that, yeah. So you stay here, dude. I kind of want to do this to you. I'm sorry, but I just, I deem this necessary. I ran out of blocks. Okay, gravel. Gravel will work. There you go. You stay there, homie. You're going to stay there because I'm going to... Mr. Creeper, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm going out another side. I'm going to go out a safe side because we want to get back because there's one other thing that we have plans for, and that is the awesome other dimension we want to go check out. Uh, ooh, go. There we go. All right, cool. So this should put me right back in our house, if all goes right. Yes. And we are chilling. All right. Now, here's 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 my dilemma. I don't know exactly how this works. 
Uh, I read about it and it says that you have to have like all these natural things. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this and put all this away for right now. Oh, no, no. You get back here. You can go. And then I need two pieces of iron because I'm going to make a set of shears real quick because I want to go get a few extra things just in case. Where's my iron? It's not in here, is it? No. What is my iron? There it is. All right. So we're going to make some shears up because we're going to go try to make some plants. And then I'm going to need two buckets of water, which I can do. And then, oh, a diamond. I'm going to need a diamond. Bink. Okay, cool. Now this one, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know exactly where to put it. Oh, I need my buckets. I don't know exactly where to put this portal because I think this is kind of like a non-moving portal. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of permanent. I'm not 100% sure. I might be able to break it and then uh, make a new portal. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, where are my buckets at? There's one right there. And there's the other one. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to get some water here. Maybe I'll do it inside inside the space in like a, a rather open area. It, it really didn't look like it was a big area that I had to put it in. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me get my shears down here. I saw in the pictures it had a lot of the dead bushes. And so I want to go grab a couple dead bushes just in case. Like you kind of need those too. So we're going to make sure we have a little bit of everything. That's why I've got the, the poppies and the uh, dandelions as well. Because apparently you make like a little two by two area and then you fill it with water and then you throw a diamond in it and magical stuff will happen. So we'll see. It seems like it's a really easy dimension to get to. And I really don't know what all is involved in this dimension, but I figured it's worth, it's worth trying out. We're trying new things and we're testing out these new mods. So, or new to me mods, I should say, not new mods, but new to me mods okay so basically it says i just do a little two by two like this right okay so let's clear out this area and then it says you surround it oh i guess that would have to be sand wouldn't it well let's try doing it with the flowers first and let's see so basically it says you surround it completely by natural ground items right so we're gonna do this and then you fit it like this right and then you just chuck a diamond in it oh it works oh poor piggy shouldn't that turned him into a zombie pigman I don't know here we go oh new dimensions I love new dimensions I that's my goal is to hit every single dimension in this series like everything we can possibly open minus like the variations for Miscraft and find the variations for RC tool or art art our tools or whatever it's whatever it's called. I've done that one before. But I mean obviously there's infinite variations when it comes to those. But here we are. Here we are Ooh. Ooh. That's so pretty. Okay, so my portal's right here. Let me make sure I set a home here. Or, you know, save. There we go. And let's go check this out for a second. Let us check it out. There's some cool trees that I've never... Ooh, what are you? Is that a ram? A big horned sheep. Wow. I don't know if there's... Ooh. I don't know... What's that down there? There's so much new stuff I need to check out. Oh my god, what is this? A May apple? Okay, this is cool. This is really, really cool. I don't have any food. I'm hoping that portal just takes me right back to the other portal. I don't know. But, oh, this is so cool. These trees are sweet looking. They're... What are you? Come on. A cicada! He's playing his music. Oh, that's so cool. This is really, really nifty. Twilight Oakwood. Ooh, if I chop some of this down, I could be able to bring it back to the the overworld. Oh, that's just uh, from whatever mod that is. Uh, one of the redstone mods. This is really cool. Oh, ooh, what's this? Oh, we got something. We gotta go check out over here. 
Got something we got to go check out over here. What is this? There's animals inside. Um, is there a doorway or anything? I don't have any building blocks on me, so I, oh, oh, okay. There are evil mobs, bad mobs, bad mobbies. That's good to know. There are bad mobs. Oh, what is that? Get, get away from me. Get away from me. Okay, get away from that crazy blue thing over there. I don't know what that was, but Creeper, you stay where you're at too. What are you? What's Naga? Naga. Oh, oh what is that? What? That's like a boar or something like that. It's like a wild boar or something. Oh my, look at this. Oh my God, there's so much stuff here. There's so much stuff. But what is that big green? Oh, oh yeah, we're going to. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at the blocks. It's like representing that snake. Um, are you hiss? Oh, hey. Okay, so that was that was too close. Okay, that was too close. Okay, I got the message. Message received. We're gonna be back and adventuring and oh, there's more stuff. There's like obsidian or something like that. There's something dark over there. What are you? Is that like a rabbit? Is that a rabbit? It's a forest bunny. Oh. It's a forest bunny. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. What's this? Trollstein? Hold on. Let's let's get a little bit of this. We'll sample some of this stuff. I don't know what it is, but I want to sample it and take it back with me to the labs for, you know, further, you know, research and stuff. I'm sure it's got to serve a purpose. Um, I'm now dying of hunger, so that's awesome, right? That, that's that's how I want to go down. Oh my god, there, there's an obsidian with some lapis on top of it. I Oh man, I got so much I got to find out about. Look at this little pillar over there. Okay, let's go find... I think that was the tree that we came in by. Let's go find the portal and get back to safety. Alright, let's go hop in the portal over here. Got a ravine like right there. Pew! And then hopefully we pop back up in that other portal and we'll be safe. And things will be awesome. Yep! Right back, right here. Oh, that's so awesome. That is so, oh, oh gosh. I am so jazzed by this right now. I am so pumped up about this. That big old freaking Nagata, what, Naga? Naga. I'm going to have to do some research before next episode. So I, I, with what I just saw, I have a feeling that might be in the, in the plans to go back to the twilight forest and uh, check that stuff out. But right now I need to grab my meat because I was hungry and I am down to no meat sickles and half life, which is never good. So let me cook up the rest of this here. Nonsense. And I think, I think this was pretty productive. We have now gone to uh miscraft, which is awesome. We have started on our thong craft, which now I'm going to start grinding out like the research stuff and then we'll do like, you know, on camera, we'll do the stuff that really matters. But like, you know, going around and getting all the, the research points and stuff like that, we'll, we'll probably do that off camera. But then we went to the Twilight Forest. Oh, that was such a cool, I was not expecting that whatsoever. I just kind of expected like another biome. I really wasn't expecting like this freaking awesome, like, you know, all this new stuff or whatever. So I'm kind of pumped up and jazzed about that. And I might start on an actual house. Because once you start stacking chests because you're running out of room, it's time for a house. A real house. And then I can start doing separate buildings for each individual like theme, like Thomcraft and Witchery and all that stuff. So we'll see how that goes. But oh my gosh, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I hope this is stuff you want to see. Um, like I said, every couple episodes, I will put a world download down in the description. So you guys can kind of, you know, play along with where I'm at and yeah it will we'll just have some good fun together oh and for the death thing i i do i still have that book i don't remember if i have or not i think i actually lost it when i died um i i yeah i believe i lost it it was the craziest freaking world ever oh i still had a thaumonomicon though hey i got two of them now cool so i still have my thaumonomicon but that world book is gone and it's good riddance. Um, I found out what it's like to have a corrupted world 
and it was not a good thing. Although, as soon as I spawned in, there, there was towering spires of diamond ore. And as I started going to them, all of a sudden I took damage. And then I had the wither effect. And then I was dead. And then I was dead. And then I was dead. And I got in a caught in a vicious death loop. So basically I had to roll the server back because there was no way to get out of there. It was just impossible to get out of there um, without any legitimate armor or whatever. I had to roll back, but I, unfortunately I wasn't too far along, so it wasn't horrible. But uh, yeah, until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc and this, we are playing Infinity, Infinity Evolved. I believe it's what it's called, yeah. So until next time, guys, if you guys are enjoying and you want to see more of this, please do not hesitate to hit the like button because dudes, we dudes and dudettes, sorry, don't want to discriminate dudes and dudettes. We just traveled to two brand new dimensions in episode two. How crazy is it that this is all I have is this little tiny house, but we're already traveling to other dimensions. This is awesome. I'm going to have so much fun because if anybody's ever watched knows, I love me some dimensions. So, uh, likes, appreciated subscriptions if you want to see more and until next time travelers i'm out of here peace